the Prusa Mini Plus, the 3D printer that was on my wish list of 2020. For some reason, I didn't manage to buy one. However, somebody within the 3D printing community called Lawyer Moses donated one of the Prusa Minis to me. And today, I'm going to do a review about the Prusa Mini Plus here on Sakri's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Sakri and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. And if you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, check me on Twitter. Zachary underscore Bergen. And thanks for being here. So the review about Prusa Mini Plus. This 3D printer is a very nice designed 3D printer. It's the 3D printer that Prusa Research released in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. This is a 3D printer that has the similarities of a Mark III S because this 3D printer is like Prusa mentions a workhorse within a printing farm. On the back side of the Prusa Mini there is a Ethernet connector so you can hook it up on a router or within your network environment and then you can. And within Prusa Slicer you can give this 3D printer a task to start printing something. Well that function I didn't try but let's take a look on the exterior from this 3D printer. As you can see, it is a typical 3D printer from Prusa. The black and orange color scheme. I always thought that this was the orange color that Prusa was using, but if you can see, there is a huge difference between the two orange colors. Doesn't really matter, but I think the color looks very amazing. So as you can see, this is a Cartesian style 3D printer with a cantilever arm. There is no dual Z axis, no, just a single one. The, that one is sitting right here on, on the top instead of in the bottom. And then you also have three stepper motors within a very close reach. You have for the X axis, for the Z axis, and on the back side, you have the extruder stepper motor. And of course, on the back side, there is also the Y axis stepper motor. The heat bed, you have a printing volume of 180 x 180 x 180 millimeters. I tried it with a Prusa slicer, you cannot go, go over that. So this 3D printer that I got from uh, Loy Moses has two different kind of uh, PEI steel sheets. So the flex plate, it's very easy to use. When the print is done, like I mentioned in other videos as well, you flex the print right off, you clean it, you slap it back onto the printer. This printer has a resume function. For example, those, these kind of nameplates. Uh, if you have to print several, you just, if this print is done, you flex it right off, you put the bed back or you put the sheet back, you hit resume and the print starts all over again mass production and then the display the display looks like it is a touch screen but it isn't a touch screen however you have a very nice rotary dial that works pretty nice further on the back side where the cantilever arm is attached to there is also your main board controller box or your controller box for your main board there you have a switch button for switching on and off your 3d printer there's a USB connector on that side, a very tiny micro, a very tiny micro a USB connector, and also next to it a reset button. And on the back side, you have your power connector. Most 3D printers have a power supply unit. Also, this Prusa Mini has one. It's a very huge one. Um, similar like the ones you can find, for example, for your laptop a heavy duty one. So this is a very decent one. Um, 
don't drop it on your feet or else your, your toes are not going to like that. It's a very nice designed 3D printer. It's the upgraded version, it's not the Prusa Mini, it's the Prusa Mini Plus. And also here on this Prusa Mini Plus, there is the upgraded Pinda Pro. It's a very nice one. Um, this is one of my first 3D printers with a auto bed leveling system integrated. My FL Sun, the QQS Pro, also have a auto bed leveling system but you do that one time and then after a few prints you have to do it another time. This however, if you are going to switch between PI sheets, then it doesn't really matter. You are going to start a print and it starts automatically with auto bed leveling and then putting the first layer down. And if you want to level the bed during the print, use the Live Adjust Z. The prints. Let's talk about the prints and the prints quality. From all the printers that I had, I never had any printer print perfectly in the first rounds of printing. Well, is it fair? I don't know, because to my opinion, the Creality Ender 3 Pro, I had some difficulties, but I get a print out of here. The Easy Treat X1, is a decent 3D printer. After some adjustments, I got some prints out of it. Some nice looking prints. Also the CTC Prusa, the Prusa clone. After several months of conversions and other things I did with this printer, I got some nice prints out of there. Also the Anet ET4, I got some nice decent prints out of there. No adjustments, no other things crazy done with it. I got some decent prints. Also the Ender 3 version 2, from the start some decent prints. However, the thing is, these all these printers have one thing in common. They all have leveling knobs, no big deal. If you can level your bed at the first time and it is decent and you get always good prints out of your 3D printer, nice, but I know that some of you have some difficulties with leveling your bed or you know after five prints you have to level your bed again i can assure you with the prusa mini you don't have to do that i started in my live stream i started with a nut and a bolt how hard is it to 3d print a thread with a nut and a bolt going easy like this i did some nuts and bolts in the past but i didn't have any problems with this one very nice color by the way this is pla filament from extruder i will put the link in the description so that you can also buy this awesome anthracite color pla uh, also a banshee this banshee it is looking amazing uh, also the text on the bottom, it's very clear and visible to see. Um, everything looks amazing, no stringing. Also the, the dog, I printed the dog. Everything so smooth, kept sticking to the build plate. Oh my gosh, and then also the frog, I printed the frog. That also was a very nice print to do. Then I thought, hey, wait, we are going to do the sheep. Also a very nice, texture on the outside it looks amazing also here the name tag i showed it earlier it's looking very nice and then i thought well it's all nice it's all decent these are all prints from the usb stick that is standard on there but i want to try my own slicing what better thing to go to than prusa slicer so i selected the prusa mini and every single profile that came with Prusa Slicer. And I started with something that I thought, well, I need to try this. So this is, uh, this is the, on Twitter, I will always call this Flexible Baby Yoda. It's from Fixem Dude. I will put also the link in the description. And so you can also get one of his awesome prints from Thingiverse. It's amazing. He has many other things that you can find there. It's amazing. I thought, well, 
Let's go for something bigger. Let's print Iron Man. But this one is also looking amazing. It's very... I, I like the color. I like the color from Extruder PLA. It's, it's, it's nice. It's decent. But I ordered also gold color. I tried that as well. And it is looking amazing. I had ordered last year a spool of PTEG filament. I tried it on my Ender 3 Pro. I had stringing. I had some difficulties. So I put it on the side. And I think for around 10 to 11 months, it was just laying here on the shelf. PTEG. I've heard that it is not good to do that with PTEG. I thought, well, this is it. This is a Prusa. Let's see how good it does with printing PTG. Go for the safe side. I thought, well, let's print some calibration cube. Let's see how that works. Of course, there's a little black line. I think that is because of the dust that was also here on the spool. Then after that, I thought, well, let's print Baby Yoda. It's I had to help. There are some little hairs. After this print, I put the temperature down because standard on the Prusa slicer, the PTEG from Prusa Mend is standard on 250 degrees for the nozzle and for the bed is uh, 90, I think. So both I put down. The nozzle I put on 240 degrees and the bed I put on 80 degrees. Also the hunter knife was also a print that I really wanted to do within, within PTEG because PTEG you can sand down with sandpaper without burning the plastic away. So I thought well let's print Arthur. I was amazed and here the back side it's very shiny. I didn't expect to get something out of this filament that was laying around for nearly 12 months. Then I, I came with another one. These are, by the way, prints of Photos Mint. And this one is Obi-Wan. <laughs> Hello, Obi-Wan. Hi. Also a very nice print. Also his, his uh, coat is, it has a little surface on it. That is also looking very nice, very smooth. No problems here at all. So I printed Aya again, but now in PTEG from Philride. A very nice print. The bottom looks smooth. And here also the same kind of texture of, of the coat, but also very smooth, very, very decent. The hair, very, very shiny. This is also a very nice print from the PTEG of Phil Wright. And then I thought, well, I printed some stuff of Fixum Dude. I printed some stuff of Photos Mint. And I thought, well, let's go for Wexter. Look at this. Bruce Willis or John McClane. It's a very nice print. It's very smooth. This is one key piece that I put on my desk because this, this is, I, I'm amazed that this filament, this PTEG is printed on the Prusa Mini. Overall, a absolutely astonishing print of the Prusa Mini. So what do I think about the Prusa Mini? This is a small 3D print. I have to be honest with you because it is small, but what can I do? It can print all of the things that I showed you in this video. You can go very small, and you can go even very big. Within the Prusa slicer, you have the possibility to cut pieces into smaller parts if they are too big for your build plate. This Bruce Willis or the John McClane, the Iron Man, it's all possible. But this 3D printer, this can do it all. This is a 3D printer that you can put on your desk. If you don't have that much space, as somebody in the 3D printer community said, Dan, he said, if you have just a room where you can put a laptop, then that place you can put a Prusa Mini there. Then the price. The price of this 3D printer is around the 400 US dollars. Then you will get a kit version. 
for $50 more, you will get the pre-assembled kit. And if you are going to buy this 3D printer, I will put the link in the description. Make sure that you order it with the filament from OutSensor. It's very handy to have. And also the two PEI sheets, one smoothed and one textured. So to wrap up this video, if you are looking for a workhorse within your 3D printer farm, then look no more. If you are a student, if you are a designer and you don't have that much space, then the Prusa Mini is your 3D printer to go. It's easy, it's very simple to use. And if you have a little production going on, then this printer you can also use very nicely. Hit the repeat function on the Prusa Mini and it is good to go. How simple can you get it? I'll put the link in the description where you can buy the Prusa Mini for around the 400 US dollars. And have fun with the Prusa Mini. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters. Tony, Shannon, Loyal Moses and Michael. Thank you for your awesome support. You can also support this channel. Check the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you made it this far in this video, thank you, you are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. Please like this video, share this video with other people and social media, and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints, bye bye. This PEI smooth. <laughs> this video is supported by. <laughs> they are.